All right, today we are going to fix an electric drum set. And so show them what the, what the drums are doing actually. It's not doing it, of course. I'll leave it. All right, so I hit it again. If you hit it once, it fixes it, but it gets kind of annoying. All right, yeah, so that means it's a loose connection. If it's intermits back and forth like that, that means there's a loose connection somewhere inside the drum pad, which is common because there's a lot of vibration and impact. First, you gotta unplug the cable because you don't want to have it attached. Right, go ahead. Because there's a little there's a little clip that keeps the cable from falling out, so you oh, want to just unplug it. Pry that open, unplug it, and, and then you twist it off to just yeah. It's a regular yeah. stereo plug, looks like. And you just twist plugs. it off until it's loose enough for you to do that. So, so you take this off. And this saves you about. The service this to actually fix this drum pad would probably cost you or replace it will probably cost you around fifty to a hundred bucks. Yeah. So, so you're saving yourself fifty to a hundred bucks. Something that's gonna happen over and over again. You got the cables right there. I think if you own an electric drum set, this is what you should know. It's, yeah. I think it's maintenance, if anything. Alright, so this appears to be the best way. All that's, they really that's did this, is uh pressure plate. That's where yeah. it detects the the strike, I guess. So we opened this up before and there was just a patch of glue on it. You can't see with your fingers in the way. There's a patch of glue in that area that basically just attached it to the area. All right, so. So it's not the best solder. What are we looking at, Dominic? There's a cold solder, um, I think over here. So let's look for oh. a bad solder connection. Yeah, cold solder connection. So this solder connection, we'll wiggle it. Looks pretty good actually. Yeah. Wiggle that. Uh, Go ahead and wiggle some. Just wiggle the wire? Wiggle the pins. Oh, I see one. Do you see it? Wanna this guy this I'm guy's been in. he's been making videos and fixing stuff for years. Ooh, is this it? You found it. I did. It's this one right here. I only press the button when you're ready to solder. Give me a gun. Don't be shy. Don't breathe that stuff in. Did I get it? I can't really see that well. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna plug this in. Remember, if it sounds like a bad connection, it's not always the um, plug or the wire. Sometimes it, it's just a broken solder joint. So all the sounds are there, except, and then, pedal works over here except for this kicker pedal and the connection is solid all right so first thing you want to do is unscrew all the screws in the back of the pedal after you go ahead and unscrew all the screws remove the back plate and check the circuit board for any bad solder connections if you don't see any then check the pressure plate and just remove the screws and you'll be able to access the pressure plate just pull it out and you can see right here we got a bad connection so yep it's a bad connection and let's go ahead and fix that it's easy fix you get some flux and this is going to help bond the solder on the connection all right, so I'm going to use some flux, wipe it on the surface, soak the wire with some solder. Let's go ahead and do so. And make sure you have enough on there so it'll bond to the plate. And you can put some solder on the plate too. I'm going to fold up the wire right here, get a better connection. And just let it heat up and let the solder flow onto the plate. It should work really well because I use sandpaper to rough up the surface and uh, flux and just flows like that if you don't use flux you're gonna have a really hard time soldering all right so let's go ahead and test it out and see if it's gonna work
was iffy. I was okay. All right, so record. don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video to anyone that owns an electronic drum set.